it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. Today I'm joining in the fun with Emily's Squirrel Fest Challenge. Click the link above for more details. When I first read about this challenge, I knew I had to make a card. The recipient is a super dear friend of ours who just celebrated a birthday. Okay, so I'm a little late for his birthday. <laughs> I also want to plug that this friend of ours, Nathan Tasker, has just released another amazing CD. Be sure to check him out on iTunes, on Facebook, and even on his website. We love him, and he has great stuff. Okay, so this card is one of my favorites. Squirrels are trendy, and so is Nathan. It's a perfect match. But I did have some problems with the mushrooms and the ink. Oh my goodness. I told Emily about it, and I told her how I spent at least 30 minutes on those little mushrooms. <laughs> I cut most of that out. Okay, so I don't want to give away too much, so let me share how I started this card. I actually had some scrap papers, and that card base was um, left over from another card that I made, so I wanted to use that. And I pulled out the... Well, you can see that I'm using the oval dies right here, but I pulled out the digit set and the fan, um, fall fanciful or fanciful fall stamp sets, and those are the ones that I'm going to use for the card. And I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to do. Now, <laughs> this is typical for me, but it just didn't work this time because I also was inspired by this photo. Um, I found it on Pinterest and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to save this for later. And later was now. <laughs> I wanted to put um, the squirrel on the mushrooms and I wanted to use similar colors. Oh my gosh, I just love that photo. Okay, so that was my inspiration. That's the design I wanted to use and here's how it turned out. <laughs> So I've die cut most of my pieces and I wanted a red squirrel, thought it would be super cute, pop color. And now I'm just going to try and use some aqua ink, like the photo, in the oval circle. Now I stamped the first part and I've masked the second, uh, thought it would work, but I totally smeared the ink. So I die cut another oval in vellum this time, thought that would look really cool, got out some different aqua ink and stamped that up. It looks amazing. That was one problem. <laughs> Minor problem compared to all the others. So I stamped my squirrel and now I'm going to work on the, well, the mushrooms. I, I don't know if you can see it, but I've pulled out a transparency piece and I thought, oh, that be really cool if I stamped on the paper, stamped on transparencies, and used them both. Now when I stamped the, the mushrooms, they didn't turn out as well as I wanted them on the vellum, or well that's transparency. So I had to stamp it again. That's stamping and stamping. And now I'm going to stamp it on white paper because I want just the main um, mushroom to be popped up a little bit with a pop of color just like the photo, but um, it doesn't work. So I have to stamp it again, and it still didn't work. This mushroom has three little spots on it, like white spots, and I could only get one of them to show up. Goodness. But what are you going to do? Uh, well, what I did was I stamped it four times and then said, what am I going to do? And I just kept one of them. <laughs> So I stamped and stamped, and now I'm stamping, stamping, and stamping again. And so I cut the bottom piece just like the photo. I just love that inspiration photo. And I'm going to stack the two on top of each other and glue them down. And now I'm going to work on the other mushrooms. Now, there are lots of mushroom images from Paper Smooches, but I just love these from the stamp set Fanciful Fall. So I've stuck with the exact same stamp set the entire time. Um... But there are other ones that you can use. So now I'm die cut well I'm not die cutting, but I'm cutting out my mushrooms on the transparencies and I've smeared them. I don't understand why it didn't stamp correctly. Like it didn't dry. Let me just put this side note in. I was using Versamark ink instead of Stazon. 
and I know better because I work for Imagine Crafts. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, so now I'm trying to decide if I want a white mushroom on there, and I inked them up, but trashed that idea, and now I'm going to stamp the two smaller ones in white. And I'm stamping, and you can't even see it! How does that work out? <laughs> I guess I could have embossed them, but I decided that I'm going to stamp them on vellum and then glue them down. And it ended up working out really well. I love the way this looks. So I'm transferring my glued mushroom. Oh, goodness gracious. I got glue all over my mat. At this point, you just kind of have to chuckle. <laughs> I was going to try not chuckling, but I just can't help it. It just happens. It just happens. So I stamped again, and I stamped again, and I'm stamping again because the black one, I don't really like it, but I have to think about it. I stamp a larger white one, and I think I'm going to add him on the side. I like that. And I'm just taking a deep breath. You can do this, Sav. Think about it. Think about it. Clean off your desk area. Move some things over. Think a little bit more. And I, I just don't know. I don't know about that red squirrel either. So I die cut another oval in white because I don't think the vellum um, oval is going to do. And then I pull out several of my inks. And I think what I'm going to do is stamp them on transparency and place them over the stamped black one but I don't like how that ink looks, so I'm going to do it again and emboss it. <laughs> I told you, 30 minutes on just these little mushrooms. Craziness. Okay, so I stamped it, embossed it, and now I'm adding them using glue. Oh, it looks so good. And now I'm just touching up, getting some glue pieces off, and... I'm thinking now, should I have a white squirrel with a red tail? Should I have a brown squirrel with a red tail? Should I just have a brown squirrel? Oi, this little squirrel's causing lots of problems. <laughs> so I ended up saying, I'm going to have a red tail with a brown squirrel. That would be a pop of color. And so I fussy cut them out, and I'm going to attach the two pieces together. But it just... There are... I don't know. Not my favorite. So I stamp a brown squirrel, and I thought maybe if I added a red acorn. Yeah, that would look cool, I think. I don't know. Just, oh, too much to think about. So I cut a piece of red paper and spared you all the details of stamping and stamping again. I just couldn't get a right color, and it just didn't work out. So I pulled out the heart die from this exact same stamp set, and I think I'm going to die cut a red heart. You can't go wrong with a red heart. <laughs> so I'm thinking about it and I've decided that I'm going to add the white piece of cardstock behind the vellum. I think that makes it look really cool. And I've, um, you'll see in the photo, but I've slid it over just a little bit so it's not exactly right on top of each piece. And then I attach that to the card with a ton of glue. I'd like to add that in. <laughs> I wanted to make sure it'd stick. And now I'm going to add my little heart and I end up opening up my mini stapler and stapling it on there. Oh, that's just so cute. Now I'm going to fussy cut the squirrel for the third time. And I also embossed a black acorn on transparency, fussy cut him out, but ugh. It's just too much black. I don't know if this ever happens to anybody else, but sometimes you just, you have too much or you have too many ideas and it just doesn't work out. So I take away the acorn and I say, this is it for now. <laughs> because this isn't really the end of my card. I let it sit for a while and then I added some Imagine Crafts Black's Tuxedo Irresistible Texture Spray near the top. And then I added some Wedding Dress Pico to the main mushroom and the little spotted part of the mushroom. And to finish, I added some Whisker Graphics Cherry Divine Toy. Now this card is 
finished. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll want to join in the fun with Emily's Squirrel Fest Challenge. Be sure to link up before the deadline. And I hope that you will stop by Nathan's Facebook page or even download some of his music. We love the Whole World song. I think it's number seven on the CD. Great lyrics, and actually the entire album is awesome. Please leave a comment below with a link to one of your creations or link up to our Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. I'd love to check out your project. Thanks so much for watching.